Today we're going to be talking about how to find the average value of a function on a particular interval. And in this particular problem, we've been given the function h of x is equal to cosine to the fourth of x times sine of x. And we've been asked to find the average value of that function on the interval 0 to pi. I have here the formula for the average value of a function, and these problems are fairly straightforward in the sense that we just need to plug in our interval. So this interval is essentially the interval from a to b, and you'll notice that we have a and b twice in our formula. And then we plug in the function um, for f of x into the integral, and we'll evaluate the integral. So the formula is fairly easy, and it's just really evaluating the integral that can sometimes get tricky. So the average value of this function will be 1 divided by b minus a. And in our case, b is pi and a is 0. So we get pi minus 0 times the integral from a to b. So in our case, from 0 to pi. And we go ahead and plug in our function for f of x. So we get cosine to the 4 of x times sine of x dx, and now it's just a matter of evaluating this integral. In order to evaluate this integral, we're just going to have to get a tiny bit fancy and use u substitution. So we'll set u equal to cosine of x, and we'll take the derivative of u, which we'll call du. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x, so we get negative sine of x times dx, and now we want to solve this for dx. So we'll divide both sides by negative sine of x, and we'll get dx equals du divided by negative sine of x. So now that we have a value for u and a value for dx, we can go ahead and make some substitutions. So the average value formula that we had going earlier, we'll get 1 over pi minus 0, which of course is just 1 over pi, times the integral from 0 to pi of, now we said that u was equal to cosine of x. So essentially here we have cosine of x to the fourth. So this is essentially the same thing as cosine of x to the fourth power. So when we plug u in for cosine of x, we're going to get u to the fourth power. So we'll get u to the four. And then we have sine of x, which gets left there. dx, we can make the substitution that we have here. So we get du over negative sine of x, and what we can see is that we'll get sine of x to cancel, and all we'll be left with is, is, is this negative sign here. So if we pull the negative sign out in front, then we can cancel our sine of x values. So we'll get the integral 1 over pi. We pull that negative sign out in front, so we'll put that in front. So negative 1 over pi times the integral from 0 to pi of u to the 4 du is what we're left with for the average value of the function. Now we can easily take the integral of u to the fourth. We'll get negative 1 over pi, and our integral ends up being 1 fifth u to the fifth power, and we'll of course evaluate that on the range 0 to pi. Now we need to go ahead and plug back in for u, and of course u is cosine of x, so we'll back substitute, and we'll get negative 1 over pi, times 1 fifth cosine to the fifth of x, right, because we have u to the fifth power, so we can just change this back into cosine of x to the fifth or cosine to the fifth x here, and then we'll evaluate from 0 to pi. Before we do that, let's go ahead and simplify a little bit because this negative 1 over pi is just a constant coefficient. We can bring this together and say we have essentially, let's say, the average value of the function will be equal to negative 1 over 5 pi cosine to the fifth of x, and we'll be evaluating from 0 to pi. Now remember when we evaluate a definite integral like this, we need to plug in the top number here, pi, and then subtract whatever we get when we plug in the bottom number, 0. So we'll get negative 1 over 5 pi times cosine to the fifth of pi, and remember, this is essentially cosine of pi to the fifth power. And then we subtract whatever we get when we plug in zero. So we'll subtract, and then we still have here negative one over five pi times cosine of zero to the fifth power. And now we can evaluate this. 
Now evaluating will just be as simple as finding the values of cosine at pi and zero. So we know that cosine of pi is equal to negative one. So we get negative one over five pi times negative one to the fifth power. We have a minus sign and a minus sign, so those will cancel and we'll get plus one over five pi. Cosine of zero is just positive one, so we get one to the fifth power. And now we know that negative one to the fifth is just negative one, so that negative one will cancel out this negative sign here and we'll be left with one over five pi. And then we have positive one to the fifth power, which is obviously just positive one, so we'll have plus one over five pi. And then we can see that our answer is simply two over five pi. So two over five pi is the average value of this function, h of x, on the interval zero to pi. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.